Ladies and gentlemen, what you're looking at are not cake pops that Seth the producer makes. You're looking at cake pops that the crumb boss makes. Yes, they're in a golden box on a red board and they say love. They say they beautiful that. designs on them. They have hearts for Valentine's Day and they're all in this beautiful box. And I have to admit, they're absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I will get there one day. There is hope. I have much hope for myself. So crumb boss, you're not going to show people how to make these. You're just going to show them how to decorate. That's right. See, that's the problem. I do the whole process. That's right. And so if everybody wants to know how to make a cake pop, they watch your videos. If they want to know how to decorate them, they'll watch mine. It's a team effort. It's Crumb Boss and the producer, everybody. Welcome to Crumb Boss TV. We're going to do a little Valentine's edition here and do some cake. It's a light bulb. Okay. Um, what we've got today is a Valentine's red velvet repeat, everybody. We've done red velvet cake pops probably three or four times already. Why? Because we love it. Exactly. And we're making Valentine's Day cake yeah. pops with little hearts, little moons, green clovers. Oh, no, that's Lucky Charms. <laughs> that's Lucky Charms. That's Lucky Charms. <laughs> it's all love. It's all red and pink and hearts, and we're all in love here. I'm at embarrassed. Factory. Why? Nobody saw an alien cake pop video. Oh, that you just did was a disaster. It was perfect. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not going to show you how to mix this because basically we just take our cake and our buttercream, we mix it together. Um, I always go excess on the buttercream. I don't have a recipe. Everybody's like, what's the recipe? Just eye it. Go watch our other cake pop videos and you'll see how we did it. Um, just mix up the cake with your icing. Mix it up like you're making a meatloaf. Roll it into balls. Um, sometimes I'll use a scooper like I did here. Um, and I got my balls here just like that. <laughs> you got your balls there. And then I got my balls right here. <laughs> Um, because this time I wanted to make my balls perfectly round and so instead of just doing it like I usually do and they're a little bit oblong, you know, like misshapen, I used a scooper. So now you got um, cake pop balls. Cake pop balls, put them in the freezer for at least a half an hour. We know that. Because that way, um, you know, but then what I wanted to do was kind of roll them a little bit nicer because um, the scooper makes them rough and so then, you know, just take them and re-roll them by hand just to get them um, not so jagged, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, so there you have that. And then um, I've already done, done a bunch of them. Ugh, oh, Christ. <laughs> You're learning. Everybody loves Steph the Producer videos because it's she falls into some of the same traps that you guys do at home. Same so traps? It's like a booby trap. <laughs> fall into a safe trap, some safe I said, traps, I fall into a booby trap. So everybody learns from your mistakes. I think it's a good thing. Fine. Um, so my my balls are frozen. Okay. Frozen balls in the house. Uh, frozen balls? My melted white chocolate, and you put a little bit on the stick, and then you dip it, uh, you know, just pop it into your cake pop, uh, pop like that. That's going to help it for when you go in to bite your cake pop, it doesn't just fall off the stick. This is a little bit of an extra insurance here. Okay. All right. So there, I'm not going to do all of them, because I'm basically just going to show you really how I decided to decorate them. Yes. So here's my melted white chocolate. Okay. And then you dip your cake pop in there. You want to dunk off the excess so that you don't have, like, chocolate just dripping all over the place. No. See how you have it just like that? <laughs> it comes out perfect. <laughs> a nice stink. I have these little... No, you don't stink. I'm going to cry. No, you're learning. And I think the next time you do it, it's going to be fabulous. Okay. I have these little heart-shaped confetti quins, they're called. Um, they're like just little sugar, and they're shaped like hearts. So I decorated some like that, which I thought was kind of cool. Cool. Oops. Okay. And then... Um, and they're going to come out like this. How did you get yeah. the writing on them? Well, here, I'm going to show you that. So we don't have to do all of these, because I really did go ahead and do a lot. Yeah, okay. But I've got Love. Valentine's Day here. This is my red uh, candy melts, okay? okay. Um, I get it through Wilton. I know that Michael's Crafts now sells um, a whole aisle full of this kind of cake decorating product, so I find a lot of my things there. But in my country, I only have a donkey, uh, and the donkey only leaves every <laughs> other every other three days to go up the mountain and down the mountain to get something. Go what on. should I do, Crumboss? Go online and order but it. But somehow I get YouTube. That's right. So go online and order it. Just search out whatever it is you're looking for, Google it, and I'm sure you'll get it. I love the people that say that. They go, I don't get it in my country, but, yeah, but, they but you get YouTube. Everything else. But you get YouTube. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> All right. Melted uh, red. 
Okay. Now the thing that I find about this is that because they add this all this ad added color to it, that yes. it, it doesn't really melt nicely. So what I did, I took some shortening, which is okay. basically the Crisco, the vegetable shortening okay. that they also don't have in their country. Okay. Um, and you melt it in the microwave. <laughs> yeah, I know. So lard. It's lard, and then I melt it, and I just add a little bit of it, and this really does help to thin out these colored candy melts. Yeah. Which could really give you guys a problem. So I find that it really Probably makes give you a lot of problems yeah. in the bathroom. <laughs> so here we have Valentine's Day cake pops made by the Crumb Boss yep. with beautiful drizzles and things and it says let me show you is this one here. This is called That's cool. Yeah, that one's called Corneli Lace. Yeah, fabulous. Yeah, it is. It's it's actually a wedding cake design. Mm -hmm. Um and the whole premise of it is that you don't want to see um, a starting point or a stopping point. You want it to be a continuous flow, so it is a little bit difficult. Well, it's something I will never be able to do. <laughs> so what I had to do was hold the, the pastry cone uh, in one hand and the um, cake pop in the other. So what I want to do is, and it basically you just let it flow out and you do like little squiggly lines as you're turning the cake pop. Oh, cool. Yeah, and so um, you don't want it to see a starting point like that. I stopped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you want to kind of pick up where you left off because okay. you don't want people to... You want it to look oh, you like know, it's, it's like lace it's like, doily. Yeah, it's like duct tape. You can't ever find the end if you exactly. rip a piece. Exactly. Duct tape cake pops. That's, that's I'll make them next. Yes. That'll be Steph's episode. Alien so cake. there you go. That's Corneli Lace. Okay, that's cool. It kind of looks like a brain, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I never really saw a brain. No, but I saw one on TV. Yeah. So that's what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, you ever watch those operating shows? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like you wouldn't want to eat dinner. Then the other one, I just simply took the same... Um, paper cone uh, with the uh, candy melt in there and I just show them how it. you're holding the paper cone oh yeah I'm holding it not the well, way that I gotta show you how to make a paper cone and then I'll show you how to hold it oh uh, we only have a couple second minutes left oh really well it won't take long because I'm pretty much done this is how I decorated okay, mine good. All right. so you guys can take that lead and do whatever you like because from Boss TV we don't care exactly yeah so how do you do the paper cone yeah this is a paper cone this is a piece of parchment paper that started out in a square yeah square here can you see that yeah and then I cut it triangular okay you need to have this triangle okay I don't know if this is going to be a good demonstration but basically I'm holding it like this with the top corner mm -hmm. and I'm folding it down into a cone okay and then I take this one and fold it around so this is again a technique that you're using your hand exactly because your hands are, are still your best, your best tools and then you take all of those corners and you just pop it inside okay and, and then, then you, you fill your bag with you don't have to fill it up but you can show well, them. I'm going to show you how to hold it closed okay there you fill it up with yep. whatever you're filling it and the key to this go back to alien cake pops with step the producer and see what not to do um, because this is, the, well, this is the key of holding a, a paper cone. Uh -huh. Is how I fold it all down, but I'm holding the top of it like this in the palm of your the hand. The palm of my hand, so you don't want this to open up and then all your stuff shoots out. Whoops, the yeah. back uh -huh. like it did. Yeah, smart um, Alec. Alien, alien cake pops. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm okay. telling you, they learn from you. They learn what not to do. <laughs> and they learn from you of what masterpieces to create on a Sunday afternoon. Okay, Valentine's Day cake pops. We're running out of time. Again, who is your lover? You decide. Uh, of course, from Boss Factory. Get them while they're hot. Five bucks. And they're not from Starbucks.